I've got myself a new knife. Oh yes, catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and check out the website revelatealpha.com. Right, well, I've got a brand new knife here, and it's from Stanley, and it's the Fat Max range. Uh, this is a, a brand very familiar to us in the UK. It's like a tradesman's uh, brand, but lots of anybody can buy these. And the Fat Max is like a, a group of tools within them that's all, well, I wouldn't say it's a signature series, but it's more the heavy duty stuff, I suppose. Anyway, um, why have I got myself a knife? Well, uh, in the UK, obviously, there's uh, lots of laws about carrying knives and stuff like that. Um, so I think we're limited to three inches, which I think is more than enough uh, for tradesman type stuff, which is kind of what I want to use it for. Now, in the workshop, I have one of these, uh, which is basically it's got a, a Stanley knife, what we call uh, a bay razor razor blade on one side, and also it's got a very nice little uh, knife on this side. Very short blade, uh, but I find it a little bit cumbersome uh, to carry around with me, and also in my pocket as well. So it's great for the workshop, two sort of knives, uh, for fine detail, fine cutting, that kind of thing. But to carry it around, no, not really. Now, the other thing I carry on the bike in the tool roll uh, is one of these. Uh, this is a, a Leatherman, and it's uh, one of these multi-tool things. The problem with this that I found uh, is that whilst it's quite handy, I've never really used it. I've never really had the need to use it. Probably about three or four times max. The blades are sharp, I'll, um, I'll give it that. There's like a serrated one, and here is a normal knife one. But again, it's just a bit too cumbersome for me to, you know, take with me. It's got a little belt loop as well, but I'm, I don't, but I'm not the kind of person who has it on my belt. You know, I don't want to be, you know, Officer Tackleberry, you know, lots of things I'm about. And, you know, I'm constantly changing my trousers and my belt and everything. So it's a bit cumbersome again. It's okay to keep on the bike, but anyway. So the reason I got this is basically just to keep it in my jacket. Uh, it'll be for general outdoorsy stuff. If I'm going off on the bike camping, that kind of stuff. Um, if I need, need to do some running repairs, let's say, or want something that's quick at hand. So this is what I've got. Now, oh, the irony of opening this up with uh, one of my other knives, but there, there we go. Right. Now, there aren't any sort of instructions with this, because let's face it, it's a knife. You don't really need instructions, do you? But it's got an aluminium uh, body, uh, handle, and it's got a stainless steel, black stainless steel uh, blade. It's got a serrated edge there, really uh, sharp blades there. Yeah, it's pretty sharp as well. And uh, just to uh, close it in, you pull the little latch to the side, there, and then there. Uh, it's nice, it's just flick it with one hand. Really nice, I like that. Uh, it's got a bottle opener on there as well. Just go, no, that way, isn't it? Uh, and away you go. So I like this. It's got a nice feel to it as well. It's got a nice feel to it. Nice, and it's kind of got this, Almost like a goldy, graphite-y uh, kind of colour to it. Probably not picking it up in this light, I know. I'm not a knife-carrying person uh, in general, as I say. I'm not really that kind, that way inclined. Tools for me are very functional. Knives, whatever, spanners, they've got to have fit a purpose. So, you know, I'm using it for cutting electrical wire, uh, shaving bits of wood you know, campfire style, you know, that kind of stuff, uh, you know, so it's, um, it's okay, look, I'm this sort of serrated edge here, I'm that, yeah, that really does cut in there, doesn't it, wow, impressive, uh, you know, so, so I would use it. I'm not really, uh, in, they're not just for show, as it were, you know, and certainly not gonna be using them for uh, naughty things, uh, let's put it that way. So it's it's purely just a functional tool. Uh, I've never really been, as I say, one to carry knives with me or anything like that, but I find that I'm just more and more, 
I'm always sort of searching around for a knife uh, to open boxes, loads of boxes that I, that I get. Uh, and obviously when I'm out on the bike or doing stuff, whatever. So anyway, this is why I thought I'd get this. It's cheap, it was about 17 pounds. Really nice action. And you can actually just close this one hand and open this up with, oh yeah. You can actually open this up one hand, just like, there we go. I've really got to work on my knife opening skills, I'm sure. It's got a nice little belt buckle on the side here as well. And we're actually, there you go. That works all right. Let me be honest with you. I'm not going to wear this on my belt. No, no chance. Uh, uh, it's basically going to go in my pocket like that, uh, in my trouser pocket, but actually it's gonna go in my uh, motorcycle uh, jacket. That's where I would use it. Uh, so I've got knives for the workshop. I got knives for whilst I'm actually on the bike, uh, if I need break down or whatever. But this is quick at hand whilst I'm riding around anything. So there we go. Nice sound. Well, that's a nice sound. Oh yeah, it kind of locks in place. I like that. There we go. I'm not. I've also got to say, the reason why I got this is because it was reasonably priced. I'm sh there are knives out there that are some are cheaper, a lot, a lot cheaper than this, you know, £10, £11, whatever. Uh, there are some that are ridiculously expensive, you know, £100, £200 for a knife, you know, it's, it's, I'm sure that's a lot of knife for two or £300 or whatever, uh, but um, this is going to be more than more than enough for me you know use it sensibly use it wisely you know it's within the legal limit you know i don't really feel comfortable you know carrying anything that uh that could do myself an injury or anybody else an injury so purely a functional thing for me uh and it's got to be small enough that i don't feel it whilst i'm riding i don't want to be carrying a big old thing uh in my pocket or on the side of my uh, belt or whatever, that is just in the way. That's why I want something that's a bit big. Now, the other thing that I wanted this for was, let's say if I go out camping or whatever, what I found with this Leatherman knife and uh, these kind of uh, small detailing workshop knives is that there isn't enough kind of momentum, isn't enough weight to the knife, isn't enough purchase to get a good cut on there. Whereas this, the blade is slightly bigger, slightly longer, the handle's slightly bigger as well. It's only a knife, that's all it is, and it's kind of, you've got more weight to it. Now I'm sure if you've got a big old Rambo knife, you know, wherever you are in the world, you'd get even more purchase. But it's kind of a happy medium for me. It's, um, it's heavy enough, heavy duty enough to do all the jobs that I want it to do, but it's not so big that it's in my way or that I can't just quickly put it in my pocket and forget about it until I actually need it. What I found with this is that with the case and everything, it was just, well, I don't really see the point of these actually, <laughs> to be honest with you. I, don't, I very rarely use it. I've got it, I keep it on my bike, but this is great for fine detail work, but not for a, just a general utility knife. No. So this is the one, the Stanley Fat Max. It looks pretty cool as well, I've got to say, as knives go, do you know what I mean? But there we go, Stanley Fat Max. Right, anyway, I'll leave the link in the description down below. You can get these from anywhere. I got this from Amazon. You can get these from anywhere. I'm sure there's a whole range of knives out there for all sorts of different uh, things that you want to do. And obviously, depending on where you are in the world, you'll have different laws which will allow different types of knives, I'm sure. I'm sure here in the UK, your maximum you're allowed to carry is three, three inch knife blade. Uh, and I think you've got to have a reason for carrying it uh, and that kind of thing. So, you know, for me, you're on the bike or going out, you know, camping or doing utility work. If you keep it in your vehicle, you know, if you're a tradesman or whatever, it's not a problem. Uh, but anyway, let us know. I mean, if I'm wrong with those laws, let us know in the, in the comments below. Anyway, there you go. Links in the description. Stanley Fat Max Blade. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to practice this. Oh yeah, right, catch you again. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Check out the website at revelatealf.com. You know the score. And right, I'm going to well, maybe peel an apple with this. Ta-da.